This is Supported Sexy, episode 472, and today is daily challenge number two, and we're going to talk about giving support to other women. Welcome to Support is Sexy. I'm your host, Elaine Fluker, entrepreneur, author, and founder of Chic Rebellion Media. Five days a week, Monday through Friday, I bring you inspiring women entrepreneurs who share their wins and lessons to help you take your business to the next level. Here we go. Hi, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Support is Sexy. I'm happy to have you here. You know, it just would not be the same without you. And we are continuing our series with a daily challenge every day this week, giving you a challenge to push you a little bit closer to your breakthrough. We talked yesterday in episode 471 about those tiny little cracks that make the little cracks that lead to what I think is your ultimate breakthrough. And it can begin with small challenges. So today in episode 472, I I want to share with you the idea of, and of course, you know, this is something that we're all about around here, women supporting women. Now, there are some crazy people out there who, for some reason, don't think that women support women. That hasn't been my experience in my personal life. Thank God I have incredible women around me in my life as friends, as best friends, as sisters. And then I have magnificent women like you in the Support is Sexy community who I connect with through the podcast, through the Support is Sexy Mastermind, and all of these other ways. But what what I want to challenge you to do, and again, this is a challenge that I'm giving myself, so I'm sharing it with you too. Hopefully, you will come on this journey with me. I want to be more intentional about my daily support of women, especially women entrepreneurs. Now, this doesn't have to be women. I'm choosing to support women because it's the space that I'm in, but for you, it could be supporting people. It could be in a particular industry. It can be whatever you want, but just being in the space of support, which helps it, I think, come back to you, but just being in a space of giving and giving in a way that is intentional, but also responsible. So you might not be able to say yes to everything. So don't think that when I talk about giving support, just saying, yes, yes, I'll do whatever I can to support any and everybody in whatever way they want me to. We have to have boundaries because you have to be able to take care of yourself. And as Ayanla Van Zandt, or actually I think it's Lisa Nichols says, give from your overflow. So you want to make sure your cup is full and give from your overflow. Now, that said, I want to give you an idea about how to be intentional about giving. And this is something I actually heard on the James Altucher Show, a podcast I listen to, one of many. I have, I'm have i subscribed to about 30 of them, but I love this podcast. James Altucher is great. And he had, was it Jordan Harbinger from The Art of Charm? Someone as a guest on his podcast. I believe it was Jordan Harbinger who has his own podcast now. In any case, he was talking about how to connect with people or reconnect with people. And this doesn't have to be, in fact, it probably shouldn't be people that you know, because it's easy to connect with your girls when you just want to send a quick test message or something like that. I have friends, we do that even though we don't see each other all the time. Everybody's traveling, everybody's doing all these different things. We check in with each other. But how do you connect and really expand your community in an authentic way and reach out and offer support to people? One of the tips shared on that podcast was this one, and I think it's a great one. And I actually made a note in my phone to do this every day. Sometimes we think that in order to support someone, well, one, we always have to say yes, that's not the case. We also think that it has to be this huge thing. So our daily challenges are all about the small differences, right? So I'm not take, saying take three hours or so a day just to be about supporting someone if that's not what you can do, what you're capable of doing in this time, you have a limited amount of time. But here was a great tip. Jordan, and I think it was Jordan on the podcast, definitely on the James Altucher show, he suggested that you think about the time that you waste really doing things like scrolling on Instagram when you're in line at the cafe, for example, for your coffee or when you're waiting for your bagel or when you're whatever you're doing in the uh, doctor's office, in the waiting room. Think about all the times that we're sitting waiting idle for whatever reason in the back of a, a, a lift or in a cab, scrolling through social media, not really doing anything productive, just seeing what everybody else is doing really. 
What if instead of doing that, during that time, you decided to go back through your text messages? So if you're like me, you're probably on a couple group text messages from people you don't necessarily know. Maybe it was an event you did that just happened to me recently. I'm on a text message with about 10 different women for this event we just did and the organizer was communicating with all of us. Well, I've connected with some of those women, but some of those women I probably will eventually, for whatever reason, being busy, lose touch with or not speak to every single day. What if, as he suggested, you go into that group text and just say, hey, for me, obviously I'll say my name. Hey, it's Elaine Fluker. We haven't connected in a while. Just want to find out what's going on with you. No rush to get back right away. I know everyone's busy. Reach out when you can. Boom. Done. What does that take? Less than five minutes. It took less than a minute for me to say it. Less than five minutes for you to write it. You can actually have it saved in your notes section, which actually I do. When I heard this on the podcast, I literally rewound it several times, wrote it out so that I can do this regularly. Reach out to groups. And again, it can be someone you know. It can be someone you just haven't spoken to in a while. It can be some of these group texts for people that you don't really know what's going on with them. And you are really reaching out just to reconnect, see if you can support them ask them what's going on with them. Maybe it's nothing you can do. Maybe there is something you can do. Maybe there's a contact you can reach out to on their behalf. My whole thing is giving you an example of how to be intentional about ways that you can support other people. And as I mentioned, it comes back to you. Trust me, I have witnessed it again and again. For me, that's not why I do it, but what a reward to know that all the good that I put out into the world comes back to me in one way or another. It might not come back from that person, but it honestly comes back to me. Just the same as all of the evil and different things that we see people out in the world. We might not see it come back to them, but I am confident it helps me sleep at night knowing that it will come back to them in some way. Now, I don't want anything terrible to happen to anybody, but I believe you receive what you put out. So put out gratitude, put out love, put out support. And this is a way that it doesn't have to be heavy for you. So my challenge for you today, do it today, right? Wherever you are. If you're not driving, do not do this while you're driving. If you're not driving, you're somewhere stationary, you're somewhere safe, you're somewhere sitting around, you're not doing anything because you're waiting. Usually it is in the line somewhere for something, right? Think about, again, a good trigger for it is when you're about to scroll Instagram, Facebook, whatever, and you're not doing it, quote unquote, for work. You're just doing it just to do it. Well, you can probably do that later. I guarantee you, you won't miss anything. When you're about to do that, just think, you know what? Let me scroll back through some old text messages or let me reach out on LinkedIn or let me go wherever it is you go to find someone you haven't spoken to in a while that you want to connect with. Maybe it's someone you've never even spoken to and you want to reach out and say, hi, I'm Elaine Fluker. Just wanted to reach out, find out what you're up to, see if there's any way I might be able to support. I know you're busy. Everyone's busy. Get back to me whenever you can. This way you let them off the hook for knowing that they have people don't feel like they have to get back to you. They know you're not reaching out about something. And also you don't feel any kind of way if someone doesn't get back to you. So give it a try. Let me know if it works for you. I'm going to start doing this. I actually put an alarm on my phone from a suggestion that someone on our podcast talked about. And you'll hear that in an upcoming episode. Put it on your phone to remind yourself, reach out to a woman entrepreneur today to offer support. That is literally what it says on my phone. Support a woman entrepreneur today, being much more intentional about it, how I go about it, when I go about it, making sure it's not something that I let slide because it's important to me. And as you know, one of the quotes I love from a woman I used to work with years and years ago, you have to decide what matters and what doesn't. If you decide that it matters, then it should matter a lot. If you decide that it doesn't matter, then it shouldn't matter at all. Well, I have decided that supporting women entrepreneurs in whatever way that I can from my overflow matters to me. So I want to make sure this matters a lot and I'm going to be intentional about it. So whatever you're doing, whether it's supporting a woman entrepreneur, supporting someone, I suggest this be your daily challenge for today. But just think in general, are you being intentional about the things that you say you want to do in your life, the person you say you want to be, the things that you say you want to have, be, do, have? Are you being intentional about all of those things? That is a big part of it. I believe those are the kind of things that help make the cracks that lead to the breakthrough. 
All right. So let me know on social media how this is going for you. Or you can email me, Elaine at ElainePfluker.com. It'd be great if you reached out on social because then we can all have the conversations at Elaine Fluker at Support is Sexy. Give this challenge a try. Let me know how it goes. All right. Now, until we chat again, always remember that you deserve support. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care.